Hi everyone, I'm Bartek, a core engineer working on Dino. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a view app with Vit and Dino, and then we will deploy it to the edge using Dino Deploy. Before we do all of that, why Dino? Well, Dino is a new JavaScript and TypeScript runtime that is super easy to use. So you don't have to configure anything to get started with either JavaScript or TypeScript. And besides that, we ship with a whole integrated tool chain. So tools like uh, testing framework, linter, or formatter are built into the binary and you can get started immediately. Besides that, Dino is uh, secure by default. So unless you opt in using these allow flags, Dino won't be able to um, check your file system, talk to the internet, read environmental variables, or spawn some processes. And finally, you can deploy your apps to the edge in seconds using Dino Deploy, which is our serverless offering. Okay, let's jump immediately into demonstration. So I'm going to switch to my terminal and I will do Dino run and dash dash allow env, allow read and allow write. So we opt into the sandbox, then I need this unstable flag and I'm going to run npm create read extra package. So let's do that. I use the default project name and I use Dino view template. Perfect. CD into the project and I will open up my code editor. Notice that we don't have package JSON here. Uh, okay, let's open up the terminal and try to run the, the project immediately. So Dino task dev. Okay, seems we're up and running. Great, V plus view, and we got this uh, cute little Dino mascot holding uh, Vit's logo. So since we are at vidconf, let's quickly try to change something here. Instead of view plus Vit, we'll say hello from vidconf and save it. And sure enough, it's been refreshed. So I think this is good enough to, to ship it already. So uh, I'm going to initialize a Git repository and I will actually quickly add a uh, git ignore file so we don't have to, to ship node modules or dot vit uh, directory. Okay, I created a fresh GitHub repo, uh, but there is nothing here. So I'm going to git add everything and then specify these things. Okay, the code should be here already. Okay, it is. So let's go to dino.com slash deploy and sign in. And I'm going to create a new project. I will select the repository we just created. So vidconf example uh, using main branch, sure. And we'll use GitHub action mode so we can actually build our app uh, using vid before uh, it's deployed to the edge. And let's make the name shorter. So linking the project. Okay, the project is linked. Here's a uh, template of what we need to do, but I prepared another template before we started the recording. So let me quickly add a GitHub Actions file here, workflows, and let's just name it deploy.yaml. Paste it here. So uh, we're just cloning the repository, installing Dino binary running Dino task build, which will actually build our Vite app and then deploying it to Dino deploy, which will serve it using a simple file server. Perfect. So let's add it, deploy script. That's fine. Push it. And let's see our actions here. Nice. This is running. Let's wait a few seconds and see what happens here. Uh, so we go here, job is starting, set up job. Okay, let's wait a few seconds. Dino is installed and notice that Dino is pulling all of these NPM packages for us uh, without a need for explicit NPM install script. Okay, building for production, perfect. So Vite is doing its job and it's deployed. We got this vitconf example dino.dev uh, so let me actually click this link and we're live. We just deployed our Vite app using Vue and Dino deployed to the edge close to our users in under five minutes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this talk. And uh, if you are interested in Dino, um, make sure to, to visit our website at dino.land or shoot me a message either on Twitter or via email. 
Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.